In the early days of computing, assembly language was the language of choice for skilled programmers, while higher level languages were considered soft and easy. But as we all know, as software development evolved, higher level languages gained wider acceptance and are now dominating the field. I'm David, your developer on duty, and let's explore the next era of programming. The year 2022 was a significant year for machine learning with several exciting developments that pushed the boundaries of what's possible with this technology. One of the most notable developments was the release of image generators that can generate images from textual descriptions. Previously, artists had to create images by hand, spending countless hours on sketches and paintings. With image generators, however, the process is now automated. This breakthrough will change the art world forever. And the other big thing was ChatGPT. The model's ability to generate human-like responses to natural language queries is a game changer for everything text-based, from customer service and chatbots to virtual assistants and creative writing. ChatGPT's ability to understand fuzzy input and derive context from it is also incredibly valuable in the context of coding. Oftentimes, developers may not have a clear understanding of what code they need to write or may be unsure of the specific implementation details required for a particular function or feature. During the initial stage of using machine learning and programming, there was some skepticism among programmers about the idea of automating coding tasks. However, as developers began to experiment with AI tools and platforms, they discovered that these technologies could be incredibly useful for automating simple, enclosed tasks. One of the most significant advantages is its incredible speed of thought. What might take a human programmer hours to write can be generated in a matter of seconds. It's important to note that while machine learning systems like GPT-4 and GitHub Copilot are incredibly powerful tools for developers, humans are still very much in the driver's seat when it comes to writing software. These systems are not capable of creating software entirely on their own. They are merely tools that developers can use to improve their productivity and efficiency. At the end of the day, writing software still requires many manual steps, from planning and organizing code to debugging and testing. This involves understanding the problem they are trying to solve, breaking it down into smaller, manageable tasks and deciding on the best approach to tackle each of these. Beyond these technical aspects of software development, there is also a human element to consider. Developers need to work effectively with other team members, communicate clearly with stakeholders and manage their own time and workload to meet project deadlines. These skills require a combination of technical expertise and strong interpersonal skills making software development a challenging and multifaceted field. To sum up, in stage one, machine learning is used as a tool by humans to automate simple tasks such as generating code snippets, improving existing code and code completion. However, the bulk of the work is still done by the programmer. Currently, we're at stage one. In stage two, humans start to trust machine learning systems more and assign them greater responsibility. As these systems gain access to more powerful tools such as direct file system access. Large language models act as a wrapper for specialized tools, enabling seamless integration and further automation of tasks. This integration allows for quick and efficient usage of a wide range of tools and resources, streamlining the software development process. As a result, what was previously manual labor such as organizing code is now more automated. With the emergence of tools like Langchain and ChatGPT plugins, we are already seeing the first hints of this shift towards increased integration and automation in the software development process. In the end, the human still takes ownership of the final code and it must be thoroughly understood and manually validated. Machine learning systems can assist in the development process, but the life cycle is still managed by humans. The responsibility for ensuring that the software is well designed, well documented, and meets the needs of the user ultimately rests with the developer. In stage 3, machine learning systems become even more capable and are trusted to take on more aspects of the software development lifecycle. End users can now directly interact with these systems and make feature requests and issue reports, and machines are able to suggest code changes along with the appropriate test suites. However, humans still play a crucial role in the process, taking ownership of the features and the final code and validating it manually. Developers are in the position of approving the code changes suggested by machines, and overall the development process becomes more collaborative and efficient. In stage 4, humans are recognized as bottlenecks in the overall process. The machine learning systems work so well that the generated code is not inspected by humans anymore. We enter black box programming, where only machines can understand the generated artifacts. 
Humans only need to approve the features while the rest of the process is fully automated. Programming languages are designed to be optimized for code generation rather than human readability. Instead, there will be tools available to translate the output into human readable text and automated documentation as well as test suites will be the only way to understand the artifacts. The increasing level of automation and simplicity in software development in stage 4 enables end users without technical expertise to build programs themselves. Agreed upon protocols ensure interoperability with other systems, making it easier for users to integrate their programs with existing software. It's still too early to predict what happens after stage 4, but we can embrace the power of the technology we have gained so far. We should focus on making software development accessible to everyone by shifting towards human text, even if it is soft and easy. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching and stay tuned in these exciting times.